So this question is a diagram question. We have a graph here, a linear graph provided for us. There's no labels for x or y axis. So let's read this and figure out, well, what is this graph showing us? So the question says the graph represents the total charge in dollars by an electrician for x hours of work. So this is hours for the x axis, and this is charge, which I'll just say dollar sign there. The electrician charges a one-time fee plus an hourly rate. So I'm going to say the one-time fee must represent the y-intercept here, which is why this line starts up here instead of at 0, 0, because basically before the electrician even begins to work, before there are any hours of work, there's already going to be some type of charge. So there's my one-time fee, whatever that dollar amount is. What is the best interpretation of the slope of the graph? Okay, well, the because the y-axis, so before I even say that, because slope equals rise over run, ra, rise is a y value, right? It's a y consideration. And for our y-axis, we have the rate. So this is the rate or the cost, I could say. Let's say cost. Our run is time, so that's hours. So our cost per hour um, is what we would expect, which I guess technically is an hourly rate. So looking at the answer choices, choice A says the electrician's hourly rate. I like that as an answer. Choice B, the electrician's one-time fee. No, that would be the y-intercept. That's the one-time fee right there. Choice C, the maximum amount that the electrician charges. Definitely not, right? The maximum amount is not a part of this graph, so that's gone. Choice D, the total amount the electrician charges, also gone. All right, we just care about if I go up and over one, which is what I think about with slope, what does that represent, right? It's like however much the, however much the electrician is charging per one hour. My rise is the charge, my run is the hour. So that's the rate. So the answer is choice A here.